pet owner accused of shooting his dog and burying her body on a beach in Virginia Beach. He is charged with animal cruelty, but he says this was an act of kindness, not evil. Police arrested Michael Whalen back in March after they found the body of his dog, Allie. Stephen Graves spoke to Whalen outside of court today. Yeah, guys, to be very frank in court and even when we were interviewing Mr. Whalen, he just looked exhausted through this whole process. He's a chiropractor by day and dealing with this lengthy legal process over something he says was justified. It was so relieving. Uh, it has been hanging over me like a black cloud because I'm not an animal abuser, and that's what the charge was. Looking CSL. like a burden was lifted, Michael Whalen breathes a sigh of relief outside Virginia Beach Court. Minutes before, a judge cleared him of an animal cruelty charge that a found guilty carried a max of a year in jail. Back in February, Whalen admitted to shooting his terminally ill dog, Allie, in the head, and she had a seizure one early morning. I can't think of a quicker, painless, more painless way of doing it. Wayland says he then buried the 15-year-old dog in the sand on the North End Beach because that was her favorite place. Prosecutors say Wayland didn't provide emergency vet care for Allie in the moment, which brought on the animal cruelty charge. A city veterinarian even testified about the poor conditions of Allie when she was found. But George Yates, Wayland's attorney, argued the closest vet was too far away and nothing was unlawful about how his client killed Allie. There's nothing in the Virginia Code that says that an animal owner cannot euthanize their own pet. And uh, it doesn't even say how you have to accommodate uh, euthanasia other than it has to be an instantaneous that I took her to the vet numerous times and tried to get her medication stabilized, which we did. Since Wayland buried Allie on public property, the judge said he will have to pay a $500 fine. Wayland says he didn't know the rules on illegal dumping. He regrets that action and wishes he buried her in his backyard instead. If I'm guilty of anything, it was for loving her too much. And Wayland's attorney says this client actually paid that $500 fine before leaving today. If anything that Wayland's attorney says he hopes the public takes away from this, it is to plan for the future of their own pets. Reporting in Virginia Beach, I'm Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.